Hi, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how you can use Engine Force to integrate with a third party system, but I'm going to do this without any code. For this demo we're going to use a basic scenario where we can look at train bookings. Now the agent is already smart, for example I can ask it what are the Paris train stations? And it has basic knowledge of certain things, like the train stations based in Paris, but it's not able to show me my bookings. Right, it doesn't have access to the booking information, this is stored in a third party system and this is why we need to integrate with this third party system that holds our booking data. To do this, I'm going to use an external service. Now you can use it in different ways. You can use it with a specification, like an open API schema, or you can use a bigger integration with MuleSoft. Now let's go ahead with a basic service. So I'm going to go call my service, train service, I'm going to provide a schema as a JSON file, and we're going to take a look at what the schema holds. It's a very basic definition here, which has just one endpoint uh, that allows us to retrieve bookings for a given user. And we have a definition of bookings with a few fields, ID, departure, arrival, departure time, and arrival time. I'm going to select a name credential, this uh, specifies the host for my service. I already pre-filled this ahead, and I can save my service now. I can select my operation, get bookings from user. And here I can review the parameters. You can see that we're expecting a user ID as an input and we're outputting a list of train service bookings. All right, so now that my service is saved, next step is to go and add a B service to a flow. I already did a bit of groundwork here to simplify and streamline the process. I did a few steps to format my answer nicely. All I need to do now is to add my action to the flow. And you can see since this is coming from the service, an action was automatically generated to get the bookings. Now I can select my uh, user ID variable. I've already prepared this variable as an input variable. And I can assign a value to my output in case these API called successful. This is the HTTP 200 success call. So I'm going to create a new variable here. And these are going to be my bookings. The data type is Apex defined. And what's really nice about the external services is that it builds for us a number of Apex objects that hold the same shape as the expected response from our API call. I'm going to mark this variable as available for output, but this is the, the complex object and that's not going to be something we can format easily in the output. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to fix my loop here to export data in a user-friendly way. So fast forward, I've edited my flow to fix my uh, formatting. I can now save it as a new version and I can activate it. Now I can create a new action with our flow. There we go. And I can select the input and output variables as well as the instructions. Notice that this is already pre-filled. This is based on what I had written in my flow object descriptions. And here for the output, you'll notice that we output two things. The raw data for the bookings, this is the complex Apex type, and the agent is able to understand it, but it won't um, format it nicely. So what I did here is I prepared a formatted version that I can show in the conversation. It's still interesting to output this as in the agent without showing it in the conversation because the agent is going to be able to answer queries in the future on this. Now that I've saved my action, I can now go into my topic in Agent Builder and I can add the action to my topic. Get train bookings for the user. All right, now let's give it a try. Show me my train bookings. And if anything goes well, the agent will pick our new action and it'll call the third party system and it will show us a list of bookings. And there we go. It was able to pick up the bookings by calling our API. And that's how you can integrate with third party systems without any code thanks to external services and agent force. Thanks for watching.